Hey guys, what? Oh wait, no. <coughs> Hold on, I'm gonna fix my hair. No, hold on. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. One, two, three. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on that button. If you haven't subscribed, pause this video right now and <laughs> subscribe right now. Yes. But Please. we're back with another video. It's me and Amanda again. I know you guys love seeing us together, right? <laughs> I love her too. <laughs> so today's video, we're going to be um, just getting ready. And you guys are going to watch us get ready and talk to our makeup. Just talk about makeup, basically. We That's use like the new yes. KKW. We also use the new Jacqueline Hill palette. Yes, so mine is it's all dirty. Like first impressions. I know, but that just shows... This kind of is a dead giveaway that she actually likes the palette. Right, I've been using so, it a yeah. lot. But um, if you guys want to see how we got these beautiful looks, because I actually love how yeah. this came out, I think it looks beautiful. then definitely keep on watching. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. What you guys don't know is that we actually had to take off our eyeshadow again because the camera was not recording. Mm -hmm. It's all Amanda's fault. I don't know what she was thinking. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It was my fault. I guess I didn't press the button. So this is take two right now. Take two. We're not even gonna be mad about it, right? Nope. We're not gonna give you attitude. Brush it off. We're gonna truck on through. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so what I already did though, I did conceal my lids with Tarte Shape Tape as a primer, and I just put the Derma Blend translucent powder on top. And I'm gonna reconceal my brows because I have to. So I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, NC42. This is what I use in pretty much all my videos. So if you watch my videos, you would know that. If you don't watch my videos, shame on you, papa. <laughs> and I do know yeah, that. Get started, subscribe, <laughs> watch all my videos. All right, get acquainted. <laughs> I want them. I want. I love brows that look different, but that they're both nice by themselves. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, right? Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like I actually like my brows to look like cousins. Charlotte is a full-blown liar because Charlotte's <laughs> brows are always a hundred percent symmetrical and always no, all fake. So don't listen to anything true. that she says because she's lying. You're a liar, Charlotte. And you know what's funny? I have to, I have to really try like hard to get my brows to look cool. How much you go? But I don't take a long time, but I do try. No, yeah, they, they're they're always like really symmetrical. We're using the Jaclyn Hill palette today. Yes, I cannot wait. And not only do we have that, but I brought my little with the name yes yeah, so yeah in my opinion on the palette um i did use it once before and the shadow that i used i, I went with like the lighter kind of mustardy tones mm -hmm. and they weren't very pigmented on my eyes so i'm excited to use some different colors and see which ones are gonna be a little more pigmented yeah. because the ones that I used weren't as pigmented. So. Agreed. Charlotte and I had went out last week and we both were wearing it and mine's look came out a little bit more. Hers was like extremely natural. Yeah. It was like eyeshadow. Obviously eyeshadow was there but it wasn't as pigmented as we thought it was yeah, gonna come out. Yeah, mine was pretty natural. You're gonna set your lid with Derma Blend? Yes. So Derma Blend. We both use it to set. We use either yeah. the Derma Blend or the AC, AC Cosmetics, which is yes. bomb. The translucent one is the best. Look them up on Instagram, AC Cosmetics underscore that. Oh my God. Yeah, that, that um, translucent powder is bomb as yeah. I use it on all my clients. It's called the No Shine. Yeah, No Matt Shine. Translucent powder, yeah. I think. And I have a discount yeah. code, Amanda, if you want to use it. Hey, discount code. I'm going to use my Kylie Jenner Duo Brush. It is from the Vacation Palette. It's bomb as hell. I'm using that. And I'm going in with Creamsicle. Creamsicle. All right. So that's like the mustardy shade in here. Yeah. I'm going to be like annoying. I'm <laughs> and show. Big ass palette. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go in with, what's this called? Butter. So butter is going to be my transition shade. That's this one. So I'm actually going in with Peaky right now. 
the same brush, the Kylie brush, which is fucking long. I'm still using butter. And I'm pretty much blending that up into my brows. So next I'm going in with, what's it called? Roxanne. So this is Roxanne, it's right smack in the middle, right here. It has like a burgundy brown, kind of like a really rustic shade. So it has like a red tone to it. And oh my god, I love Roxanne. Yeah. This, this is like gonna become one of my favorite shades. Oh, Roxanne? Yeah. No, Roxanne is cute, she's like a brown script. So it like has no red in it though. Mm -hmm. No, seriously, I've been doing makeup for so long and you would think I could brush through my brows. <laughs> and I take like an hour and 45 minutes on Alright, so now I'm going in with Jax. Jax? Yeah, I think yeah. it's Jax. And it's the one right next to Roxanne, okay? So it's pretty much like Roxanne. It's a little more burgundy and it's, it's a lot deeper as well. I'm actually going to go in with Roxanne myself. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna use a 217 brush from MAC. All right, so next I'm going to, I'm gonna take Mix. It's just like a really nice bronzy tone, it's this one. I'm gonna take Mix. So the first time me and Shada did a Get Ready With Me, I don't think we spoke about that, but you know, I don't think people know. That was actually the first time we met. Yes, I feel like, yeah, people yeah. definitely don't know yeah, that. People don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> when Shalom and I did that video, that was the first time we met, first time we spoke, first yeah. time everything. And that was the beginning. Word. <laughs> All right, so Charlotte, I have a friend. We have a mutual friend. He messaged me and he was like, I have a friend of mine that isn't, that's on YouTube and she really like admires your work and she wants to collab with you, like if you could, you guys could do a video. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Like, I'm and I forgot to hear her back. That's when I was still working at Mac, no life. Her living distance. So one day I was like, oh my god, I gotta go see her. Like I had to plan this. I'm gonna hang out with him in the morning, or whatever, and then I'm gonna see Charlotte at night. So we planned it, and I came to her house, and that's it. Yep. That's how it happened. Yeah. We got it's so funny. It's so funny. By the way, I because we're getting a conversation. I took meats. And I put it in my corners of my eye and I'm kind of blending it out with the cute color. But yeah, we're like um, always together. We go out every weekend. We're like lit queen. Mm -hmm. um, I put Meeks. Oh my God, Meeks is beautiful. I'm obsessed yeah, with this color. Like so, beautiful. so what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to create like a, sh a shadow liner because I don't want to do like a harsh black liner. So I'm going to use my um, brush to just kind of create the effect of liner and I'm going to use Fix Plus to wet my brush and then just dip into the dark brown. Ooh, a bit is hot. Is there a black? Is that black? I think it's supposed to be black, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to do black. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, this regard everything she just said. You know what? Um, I'm actually going to take the darkest brown in here. It's called, what is it called? It's called Central Park. Because oh, I forgot cute. I was actually going to put it really, really. So I'm just going to put this right here in the very outer parts of my I'm actually eyes. still going in with me. And I'm using Chip. And I'm taking the 217 brush from MAC again. So I'm going to take some of my NYX glitter glue. Because I'm going to use the SBN color. What is it? What is it? It's so natural. So um, smoky, smoky, but natural. Yes. Yeah. Smoky, but natural. I'm gonna put that color on top of the next color. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna take all this, basically all the same colors that I used on top of my lid. I'm gonna bring it down here. Um, I actually really like where my shadow has gone. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna do a smoke outliner myself. I'm gonna use the gel liner from MAC just to use the base. This is limited edition, so don't pay mine. So that's what a lash looks like. No lash, lash, no lash, lash. Okay, well that's popping. So oh, if I can be any makeup product in the world, if it was life or death situation, really, what makeup product would Amanda be? Amanda would be this lashes. If I could be a makeup product, I would be. Brows. Brows. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Brows, because 
I think about what I can't live without and I can't live without my brows. Like I would literally go out outside with no makeup. Look, I'm breaking out and everything. I would go outside like this. I do not care. But I need my brows to be on. I'm using this NYX brush. It's for the new NYX foundation that they came out with. It's pretty amazing. So I already used my NARS Sheer Glow as well. And this one is in the shade Cadiz or Cadiz. But um, yeah, I've been breaking out a lot, so I don't know what's really going on. But I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm using the shade Medium. So yeah, I don't know why I've been breaking out. So I mean, in the summertime, I feel like you get more oily, yeah. so maybe that's why we're breaking out. Mm -hmm. I have acne prone skin in general. So. I, I haven't swatched it. Matter of fact, can I actually use some of your medium? Because actually, that was what yeah. I used to cover up to cover my eyes anyway. I have light medium because I ran out of my medium, and light medium is a little dark. I mean, it's a little light, and I want to use the. KK. Can you believe that we're using the same uh, concealer? Well, I not. like my concealer really light, so I, I try it every time. And I like to be 20 shades darker, so I try it all the time. So it works. Yeah. Best friends. I really don't want to mess up my concealer with this. I'm going to try it out though. I don't think I, no, I'm definitely going to try it out. No. Did you put it on already? No, no, no. Oh, no. I didn't do anything. So, we were doing our foundation and stuff like that and the camera died. Yeah, camera died. So we're going to try it again. We were um, we were using the KKW Beauty um, contour and highlight sticks. So exciting. Um, I'm using the dark one. We have a little bit on, but for the sake of the video, to, just to update you guys, I actually broke my highlight stick already. So that's actually pretty tragic. Where is it? I want to. Yeah, Charlotte's a great Yeah, so I broke it. It's pretty fragile. It doesn't come with a lot of product. I'm just like kind of. That's the only thing, to be guys. honest with you, like I think it's a little whack. How much yeah. product is in it, I think is whack. I don't feel. And also, this is very pigmented. Yeah. So you don't have to add a whole bunch. Um, it's still gonna blend out because it's actually very, very creamy. Mm -hmm. um, and with the brush, I'm tapping it, and it literally just like melts into my skin. Yeah, I think it's not gonna work. This actually really blends out. Yeah, I was really yeah concealer, which wow. So cons, it doesn't come with a lot of product, and you're paying yeah. fifty dollars. Shame on you. Okay. For the amount of product, I think it's actually a little ridiculous. Yeah, and I'm it's actually, fan. I'm offended. But yeah. it does actually work. I feel like it does actually work. So it I does. can't really complain about the product. I, I do feel like the tools work. Yeah. I wish the thing was a little longer, but I feel like this, this actually works. I'm going to set underneath my eyes um, with my beauty blender. I put my beauty blender. I'm going to set as well. I'm using Dermablend. And I'm using the Luscious by Lynn. This is the um, matte no shine translucent powder so that we were good. talking about earlier. This one's really, really good. And it really just has my concealer under my eyes. Oh my God. Like yeah. sitting. I'm actually using the Dermablend. He's been baking for like. Yeah, I've minutes. been baking for a little while already. But I'm going to use I'm gonna deep, go dark, deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish. The bronze mask. Mm. I use this big brush for my family. Shiny or too shiny? I'm obsessed day. with this. I bought this and it's literally all I use every single day. The cocoa. Um, I love it. Bronzer and the blush and everything is so good. I use it every single day. Did I bronze? Yes, I did. <laughs> and then sometimes if I'm like feeling extra, on those extra days, I'll take some of my powder and then cut my contour. Fine, to be honest. So we're gonna use the Kim one. It actually looks a little darker here than it does when you swatch it because I've seen lots of videos. Oh, I mean, I guess it highlights me a little bit, but it's not like a good highlight for like your skin tone. I don't think. You don't think so? Well, I'm gonna try it anyway. It gives you like, I mean, it's kind of like a tantalizer, a little darker than the tantalizer. Oh, okay. This is definitely like a subtle highlight. This isn't like that glow so going back to my elf i'm gonna use it with my finger look at this look at this i'm gonna Stop use stick. a little bit here Ooh. all right so that i'm not really feeling the highlighter too much to be honest i feel like it's 
not giving me too much of a highlight. It's really, really, really subtle. So I'm gonna go in with my tantalizer. No, Lord seriously. Tantalizer. This is the best. Yeah, it's beautiful. By itself. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go in with my tantalizer and I'm going in with my Morphe M461. This brush is like really dirty from highlight. But, <laughs> but I love the tantalizer. It's actually a bronzer, right? It's meant to be a bronzer. Yeah, it's a bronzer. I'm actually going to use the highlighter that's in the Chloe, the Coco. I use the dark one. Mm -hmm. So now I'm using um, Cheeky Bronze. More. So I go over my mold with... Uh, uh, these, these are my natural molds, mm -hmm. and I just go over them with it. Yeah, so this is my imaginary mold, and I just fake it. I'm just gonna add one. Usually, what I do is I'll add them to, like, if I have a pimple, I'll like put a little bit of this on it. And I had a pimple like a few weeks ago, I had a pimple right here, so I added one right there. Yeah. And I'm using curvy lip liner and curvy gloss. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually really lazy when it comes to putting on, um, when it comes to putting on lipstick in general. So what I do is I'll put a little bit of concealer. Or I'll, I'll even use my foundation or my, whatever I put my foundation on with. I'll pat it on my lips. Ooh, this Kim K stuff is actually very good. She, no, she, 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 today she's at a tutorial and she uses that as lipstick. And, oh, the, really? and the dark as lip liner. Oh, yeah. So, hey, I'm Kim K. Hey. So, I'm gonna use the dark one as. Oh, wow. This is like a cork. Alright. Wow. This is the Just Like Honey. This is from Mariah. The Mariah collection with MAC. I'm using Kirby Lip Gloss from Palos This gloss is just like my life. Now I'm just gonna fix plus myself down. I'm not gonna go to Palos yet, but I definitely am. Just enough. I don't go too ham with Fix Plus just because of the fact that um, my hair is <laughs> like water and it gets my hair frizzy. So that's why I don't go too ham with it. So we did two first impressions today basically. We did the Jaclyn Hill palette. Mm -hmm. And I'm really digging the Jaclyn Hill palette. Yeah, I love I the way my eyes came out. I feel like it's Mm -hmm. Pigmented. It's like it's like 35 shadows for 38. So. You need it. It's like not even a question. Yeah, and the colors are amazing. The pigmentation. I actually really like the metallics. I feel like it. Really yeah. Really no, it looks beautiful. So pigmented. I love the way this. Looks. So the um, Jaclyn Hill palette gets a thumbs up from us. Mm -hmm. And then the KKW sticks. I actually love the product. It went on really well. It glided right on. Um, the highlight worked for me too. The highlight didn't um, work for me because I got a darker shade. Maybe yeah, she got a darker shade. So yeah, we actually liked both of these products. The Jaclyn Hill palette definitely worth it. KKW. You don't get a lot of product to be honest. So That's will it. I be purchasing it again? Probably not. Yeah, probably not either. Yeah. Especially if it's going to stay with that amount of product, I'm not going to purchase it again. Yeah, downside. If you're, not, if you're not trying to splurge, then you can save your $50. This is the look that we got out of our products that we used today. Our two first impressions that we did today. Um, mm -hmm. I hope you guys like the looks because I actually think that they come out really it's good. It's so different. Yeah. The same yeah, thing yeah, like the last time. Our first yeah. Get Ready movie was so different. But um, I think that's all we yeah. have left to say. It was part two about Get Ready Part movie. two. Part three. We've gotten ready like three times. Oh yeah, part <laughs> three. <laughs> part three. This so if you guys want a part four, stay tuned. Subscribe right now. It's coming. And let me know in the comments. Say anything. Say something random in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.